Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build a very easy adjustable enchantment station and this design was developed on my server by Rooster who's right here and uh, he saw my video about the adjustable timers and he thought well you can use this concept for an adjustable enchantment uh, table and yeah we want to demonstrate real quick how this works so maybe Rooster can you go ahead and turn the arrow for us so we can see what happens from here. So you can just turn the arrow and depending on which position uh, the arrow is pointing um, there will be uh, more or less uh, of the bookshelves being retracted and um, yeah if you just hold down uh, your mouse on the arrow maybe I can show you you can really fast switch to the position where you want uh, it to be so it points to here because here are the uh, bookshelves, bookshelves still standing and like this you can adjust how many levels you can maximum have on the enchantment uh, table because maybe you don't have um, all the 30 levels together and want to do an enchantment on level 18 or you have uh, a special enchantment which is has the best chances on level 24 and yeah therefore this is really really good and uh, it's also very cheap and very small so uh, first of all I need, want to show you what you need to build this it's just uh, 22 redstone, a few building blocks, of course the bookshelves and the enchantment table, 15 sticky pistons, 10 comparators, an arrow and an item frame. And I guess we can just go ahead and build this up right now. So let me go to over here and place down the pistons first. They are facing upwards and um, yeah, you have just uh, 5 in a row uh, here and then uh, yeah, this shape you know from the bookshelves so like this then of course you have the bookshelves on top of there and um, then you have uh, your building blocks in the middle to make a floor this can be just any building block you like and in the middle uh, we need the enchantment table so to power the uh, sticky pistons we just take uh, some building blocks again and place them around the uh, pistons like this and then we need to bring uh, the redstone power to these pistons so we start by placing down um, a redstone here then a comparator and a block here and another redstone here so these two have the same power level then just um, make the redstone line longer place a uh, comparator again and then two redstone so these two here have the same power level so this is one less and we are bring this over to here another comparator and uh, just repeat it like this so uh, now we got um, the redstone around and we can wire up the input for this and this is quite easy it's the same as in my last tutorial uh, we have two comparators like this in compare mode so we subtract the value we want two times and I forgot in the chest we need also a lever but yeah I guess you will have the materials for a lever uh, then just place two redstone next to it uh, then two blocks here with two comparators on it um, place down two blocks here and one on top here so we can cut off the redstone wire which will be right here then place a block up on top of this comparator another comparator here and this is just to bring the signal from the item frame down uh, so we can uh, put it into this block which will go into the redstone line and then we have a block behind and one on this side here with a redstone and another block on top which will power then the redstone um, here by uh, getting the power through the comparator and that's already it because here is our item frame with the arrow inside and this should now already work so if I turn it the first two go down next to and so on until we are here with all down and then all up again and then you can just put some more building blocks around to make it look nice you can just add a full line on top of the redstone so it's hidden and if you want to you can even put a stair in the middle of the bookshelves over there so uh, you have something to walk down and of course you can add a wall on the side here but that's completely up to you I need to say thank you to Rooster and thank you for watching this tutorial and if you liked it feel free to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I will see you in the next video